Look at this egg right here, guys. Is that egg funny or what? It's actually, I guess it's two eggs, although it's attached. That is one goofy egg right there. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. What a beautiful day. And I'm here in my incubator. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. I have a handful of clutches of ball pythons that have hatched, and I am going to go ahead and cut one clutch of eggs to see what's inside. Let's make this day the most amazing day we can. What do you say we get things started? All right, so the one clutch that I'm going to cut before I show you some of the baby snakes is actually a desert Woma ball python bred to, to a normal. Now the desert gene is a co-dominant gene, but unfortunately the females don't reproduce. So we hope we produce some desert stuff and we hope that they're males because the males are good. And females are just really beautiful and can be really good pets, but you don't ever want to breed them. So let's go ahead and cut some eggs and see what happens here. The first egg I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. And we're just going to see, this is a huge clutch of eggs too. And let's see what we have here. Okay, it looks like we just have a little Woma ball python in that egg, which isn't bad. This egg, let's see what we have here. Come on, little monkeys. Oh, just a normal ball python. We're not getting off to a good start, but that's okay. Hey, good babies are good babies regardless of what the mutation is. So I'm going to move on to this egg right here. See what's inside it. Okay, another Woma ball python. So far we haven't hit even one desert, so there it is. That is one of the desert Woma ball pythons. Fantastic. All right, we still have a handful of eggs here, so let's see if we can produce some other cool stuff. All right, that looks like just a normal. Okay, that is a Woma ball python. Let's do this one here. Ooh, that's a pretty little animal there. That looks like it's probably something to do with a Woma ball python, but until it hatches, I'm not 100% sure. Moving on, we've got a few eggs left. Let's see what happens. Gosh, it looks like a normal one. It looks like my odds on this clutch have not been very good, but uh, that's okay. Can't, can't win them all. We've got two more eggs to get, get back going. Okay, another little Woma ball python. Last egg, guys. What do we have here? Ooh, it looks like some sort of a desert ball python. So listen, we didn't hit our odds very well, but hey, that's just the way it goes. Uh, what can you do? Regardless, it was still cool to see a bunch of little babies in the eggs. So what do you guys say we check out a clutch that I cut last night when I got home but didn't film, and then I'll show you some of the babies that are hatching out right now. So this clutch here was actually a ghost pastel bred to a mimosa, which is a ghost champagne so everything should be ghosts and there should be some pastels and champagnes which the champagnes would actually be mimosas but this first one right here look at that egg right there that one happens to be a pastel mimosa so that's what we wanted to hit right there this one right here just looked like a little ghost ball python over in this egg it looks like we have a pastel ghost which is really beautiful oh and there's that look at that one right there that one right there happens to be another mimosa pastel so that's again the, all the genes put together you gotta love that one and ooh, look at there another one so we hit three of the pastel mimosas and then finally this last little egg over here was a little ghost pastel so that was pretty rad so this clutch should be out within the next few days but hey let's look at a few babies that have actually already come out of the egg so this first clutch right here is actually a pastel that was bred to a pastel king spin but with the lemon instead of the lesser and the first thing that we have here is just a little bumblebee ball python now i've always loved the bumblebee ball pythons i think they're absolutely amazing and again because we've got pinstripe and spider and pastel and all kinds of other things going on there's a lot of variety this next one happens to just be a lemon blast which is a pastel pinstripe. This one right here is actually hitting three genes, which is pastel, pinstripe, and hat russo, or what they would call a lemon. So that one is an absolute beautiful animal. And this one is actually pretty cool too. This one would happen to be a spider, hat russo, or lemon. And I just love the way that those two genes mix together because it's not quite like a pinstripe spider or even a spider lesser. It's something completely different and that looks really cool. But what do you guys say that we take a look at a couple more clutches back at the shop? 
Okay, so I am back here at the shop where we can take a closer look at these amazing ball pythons that just hatched today. I tell you what, and woo -hoo, this clutch is amazing. Of course, this is a genetic stripe here, but it's not the genetic stripe that I think is so unbelievable in this clutch. It's this little guy here. Take a look at that. That is a banana genetic stripe and now the banana genetic stripes are one of my favorite banana morphs and I say favorite all the time but truly they really are of course this one has a broken stripe on the other hand this one has a really beautiful stripe but look at how gorgeous both of those little babies are and again the banana gene is a co-dominant and the genetic stripe is a recessive so we have a bunch of really cool little genetic stripes slash bananas in here we even have this little guy here which is actually a motley bee and a motley bee is actually a spider genetic stripe now ironically enough the rest of the animals in this clutch didn't have spider in them what's interesting about bananas is the fact that the bananas that I'm working with in this particular case is what they call mail makers so we know that almost all of the bananas in this clutch are going to be males and this is the interesting thing is that all of the other animals like the motley bee and the genetic stripe are going to be females so it's kind of a sex link gene in that way but how awesome is that that is a gorgeous clutch of snakes all right so next up we have to meet up with kelsey because we have one clutch of ball pythons what do we have kelsey today we have a cinnamon bread to a pastel unchi banana uh, let's see what we have Woo! She's all over the place. And, and guys, this is a perfect example. It's a great opportunity. I know this female really well, and you can kind of see, see all this right here, all this scar tissue? This is kind of a great example of like live feeding, unfortunately. You know, some ball pythons just want to eat live, and we certainly have to feed live to ball pythons to get them to go and all that other stuff, but there is always a risk to it. And you guys got to understand, if you're keeping them as a pet, you are taking risks if you feed live unless you really keep a really close eye on it. Regardless, this is just a very short while of a rat being in this animal's cage, and you can see how scarred up she was. Now that happened a couple years ago. She healed great, obviously has been doing well, and she has a beautiful clutch of eggs, but hey, listen, I've always told you I'm gonna share the good, bad, and the ugly with you. This is a time when we had something really ugly happen to a ball python. Regardless, let's get back to positivity and look at this beautiful clutch of eggs. Ooh, ah, and there's a slug. <laughs> There's actually two slugs. Oh, this snake is like real loose on top. Look at how big these eggs are though. Wow, they're really impressive. See, we've got six, seven, looks like seven eggs. These are seven big eggs. Wow. All right. Wow, and those are really hardly even stuck together. And again, she had seven good eggs and two slugs. So uh, that's still not that bad. I mean, she's a big girl, so it was a good job. So uh, way to go, Kelsey. Uh, keep on rocking it. Thank you. All right, so let's get off to the colubrids. So before I pull a couple clutches of snake eggs from the colubrids, I wanted to show you, I saw, of course, geckos are hatching again and this is the pile that jessica needs to set up a little bit later today but i was just kind of perusing through them and man there are some gorgeous animals i mean look at all these whoa they are so cool and i'll certainly be updating you on geckos a lot but i just wanted to show you one baby i don't want to overload you with baby geckos every single day but this one smoked me i mean i looked at it, i was like oh my gosh take a look at that guy right there and now what happens is that when the eclipse in the super snow go together, they essentially have a black and white animal. It almost looks like piebald. Take a look at that right there. Now, as it gets older, that kind of grayish look is gonna turn black. And this animal is gonna be like black and white, almost like a piebald. And again, it's just that eclipse gene and the super snow that mixes like that. So again, I'm not gonna every day show you geckos. Well, I probably show you geckos most every day, but I'm not gonna spend five minutes going over every gecko that hatches because we hatch so many this time of year. But when we have something crazy like this one I have to share it with you so okay now off to collect snake eggs let's go ahead and get started with this corn snake right here and remember guys these are all second clutches and like I had mentioned before smaller clutches and more infertile eggs typically with second clutches but let's hope I'm wrong and the snakes prove me completely inaccurate today so let's see what we have here oh that's a pretty disastrous clutch right there, guys. I can't think of a much worse clutch. Uh, we'll put Mama back in there. It's okay, Mama. You still did good. Uh, definitely not a good clutch, guys. We have one, two, three bad eggs, and one 
little lonely fertile egg. That's it. So that is definitely not the way to start out. We only have a few clutches today, so I'm hoping the next couple clutches will pick up a little bit because uh, if not, it's going to be a real bummer. Fingers crossed this one is better. Another corn snake. Let's see. Oh, well, it's not terrible. I mean, it certainly isn't like an amazingly good clutch, but you know, there's definitely some fertile eggs in here, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Again, second clutches are typically high in fertility issues, so uh, that's just the way it goes, you know. I typically see, you know, roughly, depending on, especially with corn snakes, usually about 50% fertility is about what you get with your second clutches. Not all the time, but but pretty commonly. So let's see what we have here. We have two four good eggs and one two and a half. Look at, this is kind of a little interesting egg here. This is. Oh, I guess it was just a folded egg. Look, well, actually, take a look at the, look at this egg right here, guys. Is that egg funny or what? It's actually, I guess it's two eggs, although it's attached. That is one goofy egg right there. All right, guys, so this isn't exactly what I would have called an overwhelming successful egg day by any stretch. Although we did have a really good ball python clutch, and, and hey, we got that really cool gecko, so hey, I, who am I complaining? Plus a bunch of cool baby ball pythons hatching. So hey, listen, let's go ahead and see the last clutch, which is a greenish rat snake. And again, this is her second clutch. Okay, mama's out of the box. Okay, mama, how did you do? Let's go ahead and see what she did. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. What do we got? Oh, not bad. No, you know, they're spread out. There's one, two, three. There's four, five, six, seven, eight good eggs and just two little slugs. So that's not bad. Eight good eggs and two slugs. That's great for a second clutch. And what's kind of funny is that we didn't breed this female last year because Lori does not like greenish rat snakes and she literally just didn't put them together. And then I was like, I love greenish rat snakes and I love the albino greenish rat snakes because this is a hat for albino. So uh, this year she appeased me and she bred them and we had two beautiful clutches. So I can't wait till the babies hatch and I can show them to you guys. Why don't I wrap things up here at the shop and head home. Noah actually has a really interesting idea to film that would have me, Lori, and him doing some really funny stuff for his channel, but I'll show you a little bit on my channel, but I'm not sure we're gonna do that tonight or not. I just know that it's gonna be by the end of the week, but uh, it's a pretty funny idea. I'm glad that he came up with it. So anyways, uh, gonna head home, rendezvous with the family. All right, so every now and then our family likes to do things together. Well, a lot of times we like to do things together, and the other day, Noah and Lori did a face mask. I guess I'm not even sure what that means, but uh, I guess we're gonna all do it together. So what is a, what is exactly does a face mask do? Makes your skin smooth. Makes our skin smooth? Yeah. Very soft and oh, yeah. clean. Like a baby's butt? Like exactly. a baby's bottom? Baby's butt. Like a clean baby's bottom, <laughs> not a poopy one. <laughs> Mm. No, it's, it's like a poopy Although one. it might look like a poopy one. Ooh, that is gross. You have to rub that in your face. You know I don't like stuff on my face. I. Ooh, oh, I hate <laughs> stuff on my face. It's so don't gross. Worry. I have this thing about it. So what do I do now? Well, oh, that's gross. <laughs> you really gotta rub it in before it dries, and it dries fast. So you gotta. Hurry. You don't rub it in. You just no, spread it. Yeah, not rub it in. That's not what I. Do mean. I do just my nose? Well, no, you do your whole. You're supposed Jeez. to do your whole entire face. All right, so what do we do next? I get, do I you wash it off now? Like no, you gotta minutes. let it dry. How long does it take? About 15 minutes. Do you guys wanna go to the store? Yeah, that's, that's when you'd be embarrassed. I would not care. Okay, so I guess I have to have this for 15 minutes. How do you guys do this what? so fast? Did I do a bad job? Yeah. I told them. You're not it's, smoothly. I know, it's gotta be like... <laughs> I, well, Lori, I'm sorry, this is the first time I've ever done a face mask. My first time was two days ago. Smooth application isn't something that should be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I should be I should be out in the bush with a rifle or something like That's that. That's what I said. First time. <laughs> you guys are really fast. I like to cake it on because like I'm trying to get the best results. Is that what it is? I don't know. Probably not. So Zeus is kind of terrified. Zeus, what's going on? Come here. Come here.
<laughs> I think he doesn't know who we are. The thing I don't get it, this is the first time that I've ever done this, but uh, Noah's is like bluish, Lori's is really blue, and mine is still black. What happened? Did I mess it up? Yeah. How do you mess up a face mask? You just are bad at it. <laughs> I guess so. Anyways, I am washing this off because it's been like 15 or 20 minutes and my face feels like someone is squeezing it. Is it supposed to feel that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Squeezing. Okay, I'm washing this off. <laughs> All right, guys, so I don't know, you know, it's, sometimes it's just great to spend time with family, even if you do silly things like we do. I mean, to me, my family means everything to me, and the time that we spend together is what gets me through the insane life that I always have. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you have an amazing night or morning or whatever time you happen to be watching it. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are absolutely the most wonderful community. I always say you Czechies are amazing, and it's not just me. People comment all the time about our community, mine and your community, being the best on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for it. Can you do me a favor? Can you smash that like button for me and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos? Make sure to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.